I'm training again. Again? Yes. Again with Jason. Shoulders today. Yes. Right? Yeah. Now, as you know, I hardly eat breakfast. Very rarely eat breakfast, especially when it comes to sessions, training, and stuff like that when I'm in a different country. It's hot outside. I like to just do all my training and cardio in one batch, either in the morning. Well, today's not the morning, is it? What time is it right now? It's like three now. It's three, yeah. So it's three. But we, got up, we got up late. I got up late. You got, how many meals have you had? One. You had, oh, you had one meal today. One. What time do you wake up? 12. But what kind of meal was it? Tell me uh, the meal. Oh, it's a big meal. I had four eggs today, 100 gram of oats, 50 gram of cocoa pops, a banana, a protein shake, and some nuts. That's a lot of food. That's <laughs> yeah. a lot of food. So I, so remember guys, guys who follow me, the longevity stuff, it's okay to train fasted. I always advise it to some people that are trying to lose weight train fasted, but I know you would never train fasted. I said the opposite. Why would you never yeah. train? Because if you've had a long sleep, you've been fasted for, for eight normally, seven to eight hours anyway, you've got no fuel in the body. So if you're going into the gym trying to lift weights, yes, cardio, I'd suggest doing fasted, okay? Yeah. Cardio fasted. But if you're gonna do any weights, at least a minimal, I would say, have a carbohydrate drink and protein. So at least the body has some fuel to be able to use in that session because you've just been fasted for seven to eight hours. So your glycogen's gonna be low anyway because you've not eaten. So the best thing to do is have some carbs in your system to let the body draw and use that carb and have energy for the gym. It's not the most ideal scenario, only having one meal. And I wouldn't personally suggest having no food but if you're a lifestyle client and it's about timing, if you, was, if you was to do the opposite and have a big meal before bed, then I would say maybe that's a possibility. But as I a, did have a big meal last okay. night. Okay, well, there's a possibility for, 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 for somebody that's not trying to be a bodybuilder, whereas a bodybuilder needs to be optimal. Everything needs to be on the money. You know, so optimally, I would like to have two meals trying before. To say, bro. <laughs> I would like to have two meals before I even, before I even train. This is a, a, a weird day for me. I don't normally only have one meal, um, but I normally have two or three meals. So I've got enough carbohydrates, my glycogen stores are filled, and I'm gonna get the most out of my, uh, my training because I'm trying to be very optimal and make sure that you know, my body is like an oiled machine. It's used to a certain kind of you know, routine uh, but it is a bit different. For, for, I will agree with you. I will agree with you on this in the sense where when I was bodybuilding, mm. I was doing the cardio fasted 100%. Cardio is yeah. always faster. Those people that think, who say, I don't know what your opinion is on this, but yeah. I, I will say, when you're doing cardio, it's 100% more beneficial doing it on an empty stomach. Those people that say, just get it done regardless, mm. I don't technically agree with that. I don't know what your theory is no, on no, that. No, 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 you're gonna get, it's gonna be a little bit better, yeah. but at the end of the day, it's about timing and the person. If the person has no time to do it in the they, morning, yeah, of course. then uh, yeah. the only option, I would say, the only other time you do it is post weights, because yeah. then the glycogen stores have been it's the you same, know, removed. It's, you've mimicked the same mornings. To a degree, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But that is think, optimal, yeah. because then the body is not burning carbohydrates that's in the bloodstream. It's gonna go for the fat stores because yeah. if you've got loads of carbs in your bloodstream in your body the body will use that before it starts using body fat as, as a kind of burning tool but again it when you're doing cardio you don't burn fat while you're doing the cardio well, it's don't. for the to two to four hours after the cardio has been done and I think more it's a mental thing. I think in the morning when you're doing fasted cardio to get up and actually do the cardio, it wakes you up, it starts the day, it tells your body what we're doing for the day, kickstarts the metabolism. So when you do have your breakfast, the body's gonna absorb it better. So I'd say cardio in the morning is better more for the mental side than just the, the, the physiological Another side. thing as well, just to touch upon, mm. when you eat, you know, for those guys who can't eat in the morning, like, like me, for yeah. example, yeah? Doing cardio in the morning, I've always said this, I've said this many times, earn your breakfast. Yeah, because it will kickstart exactly, your metabolism. Exactly. So, so the body wants yeah. food. So whether you're bulking, you're cutting, doing whatever, I'd always say do cardio first. Yes. That way you can metabolize food a lot better. Oh, every day. Well. So yeah. I'm, I'm on 7,000 calories. And if I don't do my cardio, 7,000, you're right. 7,000. I will struggle to get that food in all day. But if I, if I do the cardio every day religiously, just 20 minutes, nothing crazy. Are you doing it in a minute? I have been, yeah. but the last few days, because my ankle's bad, I've kind of cut back a little bit. But that's just me personally, but I wouldn't advise, I'd say do your cardio four, five times a week. So you're not doing it for fat loss, are you? You're doing it for more absorption of food. Absorption of food. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, Which I touched up on another video recently, if you guys have watched it, I mentioned that, that mm. even if you're a bodybuilder in the off season, trying to gain as much weight as possible, cardio is gonna help you heart gain weight. Heart health as well. It's not just the, the so metabolism yeah, yeah. side, it's yeah. heart health. Have you watched my video, bro? No, I haven't. No. <laughs> no, 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 you're right. But this is the thing. So training fasted, I do not advise it if you're trying to build muscle. So if your, your sole goal is, I oh, just no. want to get as big as possible, 
I wouldn't be doing this. No, definitely I wouldn't be not. doing this. I, I, look, Me, when I was powerlifting, there was a Saturday that guys used to come up, get, get look, I'm not an early riser, personally, right? So on a Saturday, we used to do deadlifts. That was the only session in the week that I would get up and think, right, it's a bit late, I'm not gonna have breakfast, I'm gonna go and deadlift with the lads. Wow. <laughs> that was the only session I could Pass do out. fasted, yeah. <laughs> but any other than anything else, like bodybuilding, powerlifting, I mean, I don't do strong one or anything, that kind of strength-related sports, you need something inside, you 100%. You do. But for me now, I mean, I'm gonna have a decent enough workout, but what I will tell you is this, what I've noticed- You backload after here, right? No? I will do, but I'll, this is the difference what I'll notice. My energy will dip very quick. It will. So if I, was, if I had a meal before training, I normally eat like two hours before training. I can go, let's say an hour and a half training, I'm not sweating that much, I'm still training hard, and I don't red flag through the session as much. Because your body has some fuel to draw from. You don't have no fuel right and now. No fuel. You're no running fuel. on reserves now. I am though, however, I've got a secret potion in here. I've got some carbs. Which is eh? apple cider vinegar. Okay. Honey. Right. Pink salt. Right. And some lemon How much iced honey? tea. Do you know what? I just eyeball it. I just get it. So okay, he'll, I would say he'll go through this with me in ten minutes. This, yeah. this honey this will be done. Done. <laughs> almost done, almost done. Yeah, 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 exactly. There's not a lot. It's, but like I want to say, count carbs, what I would do, I would have a multidextrin type of carbohydrate. If you've got no time to eat, I would fill that with, you know, a, a, a whey protein or an isolate, which would be better. I'd have, a, I have a carb powder. So at least on the way to the gym, the body will have you know, 50, 60 carbs, whatever it is that you put in there. Yeah. So if you're on the time constraint, think about that. There is, there is ways around it. Having like liquid carbs and protein would probably be ideal for you. Yeah, me personally, I would Bodybuilders, bodybuilders. Bodybuilders. <laughs> bodybuilders. Make sure you get that <laughs> if right. If you're not crazy because like me, I, then I, you can do that. Yeah, I, I use honey because it's a natural source. Well, as natural yeah. as they can get it nowadays, because yeah. even that's a little bit and, weird now. And honey is a slow release sugar as, as well as fruit, yeah. because it's a fibrous. I mean, honey is probably the best form of sugar if you're gonna have it, because it's not gonna spike your insulin nope. straight away. You're not gonna store any body fat. Okay, if you're overeating honey, but to a degree, it's still a calorie. So if you're eating 10,000 calories of honey, you're gonna get fat. But optimally, honey is the best form of sugar and fruit, best form of sugar. You know, I put it on eggs sometimes. Yeah, I have it on eggs. I, I actually have protein pancakes, yeah. which is um, 60 to 100 gram of oats, four to five eggs, blend it, fry it with low cow spray, comes out perfect. Bit of honey on top. You can put some added fruit in there or on top. We'll Beautiful to, breakfast. We'll, we'll bring you a cooking video soon. Yes, about that. That we'll is, that I've had, I, I used to eat that every day is it, yeah? because it, it's easy to eat. It's like having a pancake stroke donut. It's kind of tastes sweet. If you're a sweet tooth like me, you're gonna like it. And you can have all different variations of it, you know, and, and it's healthy. So in closing, mm. breakfast. Oh, sorry, eating before training. <sighs> yeah. If you're bodybuilding, 100% I would advise you to have something in your stomach because when you're training over there, your energy stores get yeah, in zapped. Training intense, if you're coming in Very training, quick, exactly, and, yeah. And, and naturally make some gains, you're gonna need yeah. the food. You're not gonna make gains like me. I haven't made a gain in 10 years, bro. <laughs> but that's <laughs> good. But it'll keep you slim, like It'll him. keep me slim, bro, that's the main thing. Anyway, yeah. follow, comment down below, and subscribe. Yeah.